Hey traders, T. Bradley 90 here. For those who do not know, Alex took on the challenge recently of seeing how much he can grow a $30,000 account in 30 trading days and the results are in and he made $84,000 in less than 30 trading days, which turned his $30,000 account into $113,000. Alex recently put together a free mentorship course with his mentor, Bao, explaining exactly how he did this. The link is available at myinvestingclub.co slash Alex. There's limited seating every single week, so be sure to reserve your spot. As a very special gift to our YouTube viewers, I want to announce something very special. This is my personal phone number, my personal number that I am putting out to you guys. If you have any questions about joining MIC or on the fence about joining our wonderful club, you can contact me now directly and personally, and I will get back to you. Okay. Looks good. Maybe I can... A blip in time, Dave. Sweep. Yeah, sweep it under the, sweep it under the rug. <laughs> No worries, Will. Well, hopefully we get through. Um, hopefully we get through all of the the basic stuff, and there will be a Q and A at the end. Okay, so um, today uh, I want to go over the key traders of the week and and how I um, how I traded them, how I saw them. Uh, then I'd like to kind of go do that segment that we skipped last week because Harry was here. Um, but I want to talk about you know if you guys want to post trades particular trades about scaling i want to go over that you know like if, if you're comfortable we can talk about scaling and you know post trades let's get started so uh at the, i think it was last friday um for me my my week starts on friday because i do the webinars on thursday <clears throat> so anyway yuma like i remember this day now now that i do this i remember this day it was such a shitty day for me there was a huge thunderstorm there was a huge thunderstorm over here. Um, dude, my, I had such shitty ping the whole trade. My ping was 50,000. Like, my ping was so bad. Like, it was so – and at the open, I didn't know what in the world was going on. I was like, what, what on earth is like – I mean, I'm unplugging my internet connection. I don't know what's going on. I actually, like, you know, a, a, a chat room bought this in the morning, and I was like, oh, my gosh, that's so perfect. Like, right out of the open, the chaser's ready to dump. Like, perfect. So I missed the first one. I honestly would have tried at least for that one. Wouldn't have been a big trade, but it would have been a nice one. But anyway, and so I saw it dump. It got a little bit better. It got up to 25,000 ping. <laughs> but um, <laughs> that's still really shitty. Um, so anyway, so literally what I had to do at that point was just fantasy trade. And I actually, I had my phone looking at the, at the, at the ticks. Um, just to verify, to make sure that I'm not lagging behind on my chart. But, um, you know, I, it's, that's because it, it was data and not Wi-Fi. But anyway, I was on my phone, like, verifying. Um, so I put a fantasy order out because what I really liked about this was it was normally, I'm, like, I'm not huge of a, like, like, of a line guy necessarily right out of the open. But when we tank all the way to 4.30, right, there was a big morning stuff and a tank to 4.30. 4.30 to 5, that's a – and I talked about this in chat today. That is a long way to travel for a stock. Life, this is a good – this is – this isn't a, like a sexy trade, but I think it's important because a lot of reclaims end this way, and you have to make sure that you don't get dumped on, right? So, like – I, I tried to reclaim this long twice and I felt like I had it here, but it's stuck. Um, you know, and this is going to happen. Like if you, if you are someone who has attempted reclaim longs, you know that there is a high stuffage potential, right? And that's because everybody likes to short at VWAP too. It's not like people like to buy at VWAP, people like to short, you know, sometimes there's overhead that stops and sometimes there's sellers that step in. You don't always know what's going to happen. All you can do is take your shots, keep your wrists tight, and, you know, try and get, you know, criteria that you like to see, like holding, you know, holding morning support, strong volumes, things like that. And you just go with the flow. And if it stops, you've got, you know, you try to get out beforehand. So I tried to buy it here, and I was actually pretty stoked here. I, I thought it was going to go. It totally stuffs down, and I, I, you know, I sell it, like, Am I disappointed? Yeah, but you know, not that much. I probably would have bought it if it got back over here again. And then if that stuff, I would have been done for sure, but it didn't. So I let it go for a while. You know, we tank under this level 660 and I, I get the idea that it's not done yet. 
So I put an order back on. Wow. How, how big was this position size? Like the first three. Oh, no, sorry, not, I mean, percentage, percentage, percent. Uh, you don't have to share size, but percentage, like. So th these first three orders were, um, like half, a little over. Okay, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, like this is, because I'm going to say, 240 is the risk. This is pretty early. And, and it didn't get there. So like, the thing is, it didn't get there. So like, and I'm going to be, I'm going to try to be brutally honest and brutally, like, you know, uh, honest or brutally, cr not critical, but like, I'm going to try to be fair. Like, I, I, I'll say what I like is good and say, I think this is a little early for 240 risk. Um, it just seems a little early for 240 risk. Um, but I mean, that's just me at like, cause now, I mean, this is a $2 stock. The, the, uh, the, it's okay. Cause it's small, but, um, yeah, it's like, it looks like 188. Like that's like, that's like 50 cents of risk on a two. That's pretty, that's a pretty big range. Um, Uh, how much was this cover? Is this half of the position cover? I would say that you, I, it's, I don't want to be hindsighty, but you probably don't need to cover here, but you said you, yeah, you said you had to be late for work. Anyway, I think this is good. I think it's good. I just think it's a little bit early. I probably would have started at like 210 if my goal was 240 but because see here's the thing guys you can always you can always decide i'm ready to be in full size you can always decide i'm ready to be in full right um but you know you can like that's a decision that you can make whenever you want you don't have to gradually like accumulate a size remember you can just hit it whenever you want to so just knowing that, like, you don't have to all like, put it this way. Think about the benefit of what's going, like, what's the benefit if, like, you don't have to, be, like, a lot of people, like, like, have this feeling that you, in order to get size on a trade, you have to have scaled in, right? You have to have scaled in, like, a slow and long process. Like, no, like, whenever you want to, like, if you want to, if you want a 300 share position, you know, like you can hit 250 shares whenever you make it, right? Whenever, whenever you want to. So like you, you don't have to like, like some people feel like the only way to get size on a trade is through scaling. And that's just not it. Right. Like you can wait for that, that time to hit it. So don't feel obligated to, you know, like, Oh, it's a, I don't want to miss this trade. Let me start really early to make sure, you know what I mean? Like that doesn't have to be there. And yeah, I, I definitely agree with the line. Um, yeah, definitely agree with the line. Uh, yeah, you made it, MTXR. I did that today on MYSE. Yeah, but I, not bad. I just think a little early. Um, that's just, um, I mean, it's hard to tell, you know, tell someone else, oh, too early or, right? Anyway, good one. Any, anybody else? Rookie. Yeah, Rookie X. You actually have good trades, buddy.
Hey traders, T Bradley 90 here, Tosh Bradley from My Investing Club Chat. Just wanted to reach out to you personally and show you how to contact myself personally if you have any questions about joining MIC, about MIC in general, or are on the fence and need a little bit of guidance before you join. For the first time ever, I have put out my personal number for you to reach me directly among my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com and our Twitter and IG handles. Reach out today and get any information you need on what makes MIC so great and why you should join us today.